Hey friends, this is Crystal with Booth Crush. Welcome or welcome back, whether you are new or returning. We share business resources, tips and tricks for booth and store owners. We also have a blog, a Facebook page, a Facebook group. You can find us on Instagram and Pinterest. So come join us. Today I am taking you into the Apple Barrel Antique Store, which is located in Bremen, Georgia. This is in Carroll County, which is West Georgia for you non-locals. This is right down the road from my house, so I get to pop in about once or twice a month. And they also have a store in Oxford, Alabama. So you guys come and check them out. I'm going to put their links down below with the address. But let's start off with this beauty right here. I know we can all appreciate all of the beautiful staining and crazing of a good ironstone piece. And this beautiful basin was available for $30 and it was very tempting. And then I found this mint green, which is not coming across on the camera, but this rusty old scale was just perfect. And it was only 27, I think. And then I went around the corner and I saw this cute little booth and I was wondering if maybe the dealer had um, watched our video, probably not, but I was glad to see that somebody was actually using that um, table runner the grass easter easter grass we shared this about a month ago and i picked up a roll of this at hobby lobby it is so pretty rolled out and it's just definitely the touch that your booth needs for spring and i think you can still get this i was in there the other day and also i went around this corner and found this cute booth it looks like somebody's getting ready to move in but i don't know about you guys but i love a blank slate and i always kind of stand back and mentally decorate the booth <laughs> i don't know am i the only weirdo but i went back a few days later and here is the um after and i don't know if this dealer is new or if she or he is an existing dealer and maybe this is their second or third booth but i thought i would share some of the items they had a lot of fun stuff and i don't know the name of the booth i didn't see any signage and i also want to say that you know as much as i'm in here i don't often see dealers so i don't really know a lot of dealers at this mall so if you know of a booth name, let me know and I'll tag them down below. But I do know this dealer. This is my friend Denise and she shares this booth with her friend, Jesse. And this actually is um, their second booth. They have two back to back and the first booth was more home decor. Um, but this one is mostly vintage clothing and accessories. And I love architectural salvage especially when it's used like this to display things like jewelry and I just thought this booth was so fun I love this spindle it has been cut in half and then it has nails to um, display the little bracelets on and then she has two really pretty jewelry bars with lots of earrings to choose from I'm going to make sure to put the chunk and chicks link down below so you guys can go over and check out their Facebook page and Hopefully you'll get to go to the store and see everything in person, but I'm not going to talk through the whole thing. I do have a junking haul around the 19 minute mark. So if you guys want to just fast forward to that, if you're not into the whole antique thing, you can fast forward and I share everything that I bought and then um, I will see you guys in a few.
these are the little bags that I picked up at the antique store yesterday and give you a closer look. I'm sorry, they're so noisy. There's lots of little treasures in here. I can't wait to open it up. And then here was the other one. So let's go with this one first. I'm such a sucker for packages like this. I'm sorry, this is so noisy. I have dull scissors. I need to grab new scissors. Okay, so the first item is this little whisk broom. And then we have this little cross stitch. I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> Looks like a little woman, a little man, some little animal. And it's really old. You can see where someone has stapled it and the staples are all rusty and the paper is torn. And that's glass, but the frame is really old. And then this number four. It's metal. And then I have this little kitchen um, flipper spatula, whatever this thing is called. It has some nice patina on the wood. It's all worn. And then I have this cute little purse. This is really old. Oh yeah, you can tell how old that is. So that's it for that little pack. And then for this one. The first item is this old vintage hymnal book. A copyright. But some of the pages are yellowed. You can see it has a warm spine. And then this little kitchen masher. It's all weathered looking. And then I have this little booklet. is 1952 Mirabeau Lamar. I'm not sure what that is, but it was, oh, is for high school seniors. So it had a list of all of the graduates for 1992. Well, that's neat. So it gives the class role And it looks like it has been signed by Jackie Hart and some other folks. So this is a neat little treasure. Then I have another one of those metal numbers. This is a four. So I should have had this at Valentine's Day. <laughs> the one and the four would be perfect for Valentine's Day. And this will still be perfect for next year for neutral decor. I never even noticed that when I picked both bags up. And then I have this little cute frame. It has the little hook top. Looks like there's some writing on it, but I can't make that out. But it's just this little cute picture. I'm a sucker for these little vintage frames. And then we have a cowbell, but it's missing the little the little whatever that 
I couldn't resist this little rusty recipe box. It is going to be perfect to put a faux plant in and put out on my porch. Lord knows I can't keep anything alive that is real, so it has to be faux plants and faux flowers. <laughs> and then I found this military pen, which I love that it had the letter B on it that stands for my parents, um, my grandparents' last name. And I thought I would hang like a ribbon from it and then put a little small picture frame on it and then attach it to like my memory board. And then I found this cute little rusty bucket. It has strawberries on one side, but they are so faded you can't see it anymore. But it has this beautiful like aqua turquoise color, but it's not really coming across too much on camera. But there you can see the strawberries. But again, I'm going to put like a faux plant and just stage it out on the porch going to be fun to just stage different items in at different times of the year but this next item <coughs> excuse me is this beautiful ironstone platter it's kind of a smaller platter and I love the details on this one it doesn't have any crazing or staining but it's Homer Laughlin and I thought it was very pretty I'm probably going to attach it to like a plate hanger and hang it on the wall and then like put a, a ribbon with a photo in the center and then I found this adorable little soap dish. I was getting this one for a friend, but she ended up going with something else. So I'm probably going to sell this online. And it came with this cute little loofah sponge. <coughs> and then I'm going to try the Sweet Pickens Milk Paint in the color Flower Sack. I have never tried milk paint y'all so <laughs> i'm looking forward to trying that out and then last but well no i have one more to share this one is i just love this one it is a vintage from 1946 i think let me zoom in but i loved all of the navy officers you know actually it's october 8th 1945 and i think this is going to be very fun to put out for like fourth of july but I'm working on a gallery wall with all yard long photos and I have two more that I need to get framed and then maybe I'll share that with you guys. And then I had to get this one too. This is from 1944. It is the barbecue for the master plumbers. And I guess this was at someone's old homestead, but just look at all these faces. I mean, they certainly did not smile back then, but I just love this one so much. Oh, I, th I see one lady smiling, but the rest, they're just, they're not happy. They probably took this before they were ready to eat. and Everybody was hungry and ready, ready to eat. But you can see the back is all torn, but that's okay. I'll recover it with some brown craft paper. But that's it. That is all I have. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please remember to give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments what was your favorite booth, what was your favorite item that we got from this haul. And as always, thanks so much. And I wanted to share this one really quick. This is for my friend Denise's booth, the Junking Chicks. This mirror is absolutely gorgeous and it was only 75 So again, I'm going to link everything down below and you guys go and check out the Apple Barrel and we will see you in the next one.